There are many iconic characters in comic book history, but which have been the most influential? Let's find out. What's up my comic comrades? We all have our favorite superheroes for our own individual reasons, but who are the most important superheroes in comics? Well today we're going to talk about who we think are the five most important heroes in comics and explain why. With that said, let's kick this off. The first one up is none other than the most important superhero in all of comic books, and that of course is Superman. Love him or hate him, Superman is definitively the most important superhero in all of comic books. That's not an opinion, that is a stone cold fact. Superman has quite literally changed the landscape of fiction in general ever since since he made his debut in Action Comics 1 in 1938, created by Jerry Siegel and Joe Shuster. So much so, he is often credited for being the first superhero ever, which is technically not true as characters like the Shadow and the Phantom existed several years before him. However, the reason why many still credit him as being the first superhero is because he defined the superhero genre, reinventing it and making it what it has been ever since his creation in 1938. So as the Joker would say, You've changed things. Superman is the archetype and or blueprint for pretty much all superheroes. More specifically, he's the master mold. What I'm saying is every superhero, specifically DC and Marvel heroes, in one way or another can be linked back to him. As without his success, you could argue those characters wouldn't have existed, or at least not the way we know them today. But there's a super simplified way of realizing Superman is the GOAT when it comes to superheroes. If I were to tell you to picture a generic superhero, or if I asked some random person who's not even a comic book fan to draw a generic superhero, Guaranteed, nine times out of ten, they would picture or draw a hero that would have a cape and underwear on the outside of their pants. A look that Superman pretty much made a standard for superheroes ever since his debut in Action Comics 1. And that trend is more or less still holding strong and or has proved timeless as DC tried to ditch the underwear for several of the heroes during the New 52 initiative, but a few years later brought it back as by now it's just something that kind of defines several of their characters. But again, it all started with Superman. Even if you go to Google and you type in generic superhero, superhero, most of the images that will come up are basically Superman knockoffs. The point is there's no arguing Superman's importance to comic books regardless of how you feel about him. The character has transcended comic books and has just flat out become one of the most important characters in fiction and all of pop culture. You would be hard pressed to go anywhere in the world and find someone who wouldn't recognize Superman or his crest. In fact, I would say he's become as iconic and recognizable as characters in Greek mythology like Zeus or Hercules. And speaking of mythology, I've always had a love for trading card games, which is why we're excited about today's sponsor, Alpha Clash. Many of you have probably heard about the game from their massively successful campaign on Kickstarter, where their trading card game and graphic novel were more than fully funded and raised nearly half a million dollars. Anyway, they sent us their game to check out, and it seems pretty awesome. We're obviously incredibly familiar with the universes of Marvel, DC, and other popular comic book worlds, but it's always fun to discover and explore a newly created world and mythology, and that's exactly what you get with this brand new project. While we haven't been able to dive super deep into this rich lore-based game, the elements of the game we've explored so far have a great combination of both familiar and fresh story aspects. For instance, it combines new game mechanics with others you may recognize from your favorite games and packages them all into something super fun for gameplay. And as a team that freaking loves comic art, it's immediately apparent that they went all in on the artwork. It is top notch. In fact, they brought over top artists from Marvel, DC, League of Legends, Smite, Flesh and Blood, Magic the Gathering, and more to bring their projects to life. Another cool aspect of Alpha Clash is that you could dive deeper into the story and mythology with the graphic novel, which is available now. And their full novel is releasing this fall, so I could see this becoming an incredibly immersive experience. The Alpha Clash game launches worldwide via distribution and local game stores on July 21st, but you can get it online now. To buy now, just click the link in the description below. And we always love to hear what you guys think, so once you pick it up and start playing, which we highly recommend, let us know what you think in the comment section. Again, just click the link in the description. Okay, we've established that Superman is the GOAT when it comes to important superheroes, but he also stands amongst other titans. And while he did pave the way, there are several others that help carry the torch. One of those without question is the star-spangled hero himself, good old old Captain America. Steve Rogers' Captain America was created by Joe Simon and Jack Kirby and first appeared in Captain America Comics issue 1 in March of 1940. Captain America became more than a superhero acting as a symbol for our country during World War II. I mean, the cover of his first appearance on Captain America Comics 1 says it all as he's punching Adolf Hitler right across the face, taking him down for the count. Now that's a way to get people to rally behind a brand new hero. When people saw this Captain America taking down Hitler, they instantly loved him. Simon and Kirby created a character that was defeating a real 
real world villain. You gotta remember at the time, the US was already one year into World War II, so tensions were high in the country, and the people needed something they could rally behind and fantasize over that wasn't the actual madness going on in the world. And Captain America gave us just that. I would say Captain America is right up there with Superman being the epitome of good. If you're talking about your stereotypical always going to do good characters, it's Cap and Superman all day long. He has an unwavering commitment to do what is right at all times, no matter what the outcome means. And much like Superman, he helped define that classic Boy Scout superhero, truth, justice, and the American way kind of attitude. Yes, I know that's Superman's quote, but Captain America is right in line with that. Cap is also known as the first Avenger because he was a hero well before Iron Man, Thor, Hulk, Ant-Man, and the Wasp created the team. Now, Captain America is one of the most important heroes for a lot of reasons. He stands for being the symbol of truth, justice, and loyalty, and he's one of the first heroes ever for Marvel, debuting in 1940, only two and a half years after Superman. But besides that, I think his story is what really makes him important to the genre. As you have this young man who is weak, but just wants to help his fellow man in any way he can, no matter what. Perfect example of this is from that scene in Captain America the First Avenger, where Steve Rogers, before getting the Super Soldier Serum, thought that there was a grenade that was gonna go off, and without hesitation, he jumped on it, covering it, telling everyone to get away. Bottom line, Captain America is one of the characters that help establish what a superhero should and can be from the beginning. Next up, you knew he was gonna be on here somewhere, and that is the Dark Knight himself, the Batman. First appearing in Detective Comics 27 in 1939, created by Bill Finger and Bob Kane. If Superman is the archetype for your stereotypical do-good powerful superhero, then Batman is the archetype for the vigilante superhero. He's kind of the yin to Superman's yang. Superman represents hope, he's the beacon of light, where Batman is the other side of the coin, he represents vengeance and the dark. Batman easily deserves to be on this list because he opened up the doors to a whole nother side of the superhero genre. Characters like Superman and Captain America are the Boy Scouts, always about doing the right thing, while Batman is about vengeance and striking fear into his enemies. He'll do just about anything to his enemies except killing them as that's where he draws the line. Without Batman paving the way for that street level vigilante type, we probably wouldn't have had characters like Daredevil, Punisher, Green Arrow, and so on. Now I'm not saying Batman was the first vigilante type hero because characters like the Shadow predated him, but Batman is what really made this type of superhero character pop off. Just think of all the things in the superhero genre, Batman has pretty much made a standard and a generic trait for a crime fighter. First up, having a secret base of operations, such as a cave. That all really became popularized because of Batman. Having a cool high-tech car to get around, yet again, Batman made that a thing. How about having a guy in the chair, so to speak, to give you intel and help you out while you're fighting crime in the field, yet again, Thank you, Batman. The point is, I don't think anyone could argue the importance Batman has had in the superhero genre. He is quite literally one of the three most recognizable comic book characters ever created. And his list of contributions and importance is almost unparalleled. Next up, we have the wall crawler himself, Spider-Man, first appearing in Amazing Fantasy 15 in August of 1962, created by Stan the Man Lee and Steve Ditko. The crazy thing is at the time when Stan Lee pitched Spider-Man to his editor, he was like, you're crazy. No one's gonna wanna read a character called Spider-Man, people hate spiders. Also, you want him to be a teenager and have real world problems? No, that's never gonna work. So when Stan Lee was working on a title called Amazing Fantasy that was coming to a close, he figured via his wife's recommendation that he would just put Spider-Man in that issue as no one cares about the last issue of a series because it's ending so it doesn't matter going forward. But what happened next was literally comic book history. The reason why Spider-Man became such an important character to the genre is because he kind of reinvented it in a lot of ways. The sales for Amazing Fantasy 15 were so unexpectedly good that when they got the number back months later, Stan's editor was like, you need to give Spider-Man his own series. You see, up until that point, heroes were either rich, or super soldiers, aliens, all that kind of stuff. But Stan Lee was the first to make a teenager with no money and girl problems a superhero, effectively making a sidekick the main hero. And it was brilliant and extremely relatable. It's the main reason to this day why Spider-Man is one of the most popular and beloved heroes. I mean, we all like characters like Batman, Iron Man, and so on, but how many of us are rich playboys? Spider-Man is just your average, everyday guy who just so happened to gain superpowers. And we get to follow his story on how this normal, everyday dude deals with being a superhero. Spidey also gave us one of the best lessons in all of comic books, with great power must also come great responsibility. It's one of the most true lines ever spoken, and it's defined the character as well as the genre in general. It's a phrase or quote that's transcended the genre and is even now used for other heroes. But rounding out our list of the most important superheroes is none other than Wonder Woman. She first appeared in All-Star Comics issue 8 in October of 1941. And was 
was created by William Moulton Marston and H.G. Peter. Wonder Woman is a feminine icon, plain and simple. She is the end-all be-all female superhero paving the way for all other female characters in comics like Black Widow, Jean Grey, Supergirl, Scarlet Witch, Storm, and the list goes on for days. And not only that, she is a pillar of the DC Trinity, alongside Superman and Batman. Now, I think we take for granted the amount of awesome female superheroes and characters we have today across all media, not just comic books, but back then, this was revolutionary. I mean, you're talking about a character who was created in 1941, who could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Superman. This was four years before women were even allowed to vote. Wrap your head around that crap. So to say Wonder Woman was ahead of her time, an incredibly powerful superhero who didn't need anyone but herself is an understatement. Wonder Woman is the definition of paving the way and trailblazing. She's yet another character that transcends comic books. In fact, people who don't even read Wonder Woman comics consider her an icon because she's just become a symbol for powerful women. But besides all that, she's an extremely well-written character that's one of my favorites and certainly a backbone for the DC Universe. But there you have it, guys, the five superheroes we think have been the most important to the history of comics. What do you think of our list? Do you agree with us or not? I know some are probably saying, what about the Hulk, Fantastic Four, Iron Man, etc. And there are arguments that could be made for each, but we still personally feel the five mentioned have contributed the most overall.